Okay, this is the M&P versus LCP recoil comparison. First, we're going to go with the LCP. Go ahead. <laughs> it's been a while since I shot this one. Yep. It's a long trigger pull, remember? Shoot. You're alright. It's not going to kick nearly as bad. That wasn't bad, huh? Yeah, it hurts my finger though. <laughs> Actually, hold, let me come around here because uh, there's less wind this direction. My hands are kind of cold too, so. Yep, you're right. I'll make it. Uh... Good. Keep going. Empty that mag. Good shot. 15 yards of that bad boy. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm serious. My, my fingers are cold. Okay, hold on to that camera for a second. My fingers are cold, so <laughs> keep snapping my cold finger. Okay, let me switch. Hold on, let me take shots here with this. <laughs> that is a brutal gun. Okay. Rack it. Okay, now we're going to do this one with the M&P here. After shooting that one, shooting this, like, night and day. This is an easier gun to handle? Yeah. Okay, let me go right by your head. Get through my... Okay. Oops, on that one. Yeah, big time. There you go. Good. That is an 8 inch plate at 15 yards as well. Hold it up. Let's see it. Spin it around. That's a pretty cool looking gun, eh? What would you say? Pretty cool looking? Yeah, that's it. Let me get the big camera here. I would say that's a pretty cool looking gun. Don't you think? Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's good looking. Super good looking. Like, uh, you know... It's it's got it's reminiscent obviously of its uh, larger counterpart, the M and P full size, but uh, it definitely over the L C P. What would you say? I like it a ton more. The L C P is really snappy, and I don't feel. Here, come like, this way, so I'm out of the wind. I don't feel like I'm in as much control. Why is that though? Because with um with the shorter mag here, put the shorter mag in that one. Do you have the shorter mag? That's the seven rounder that's, that comes with it. With the shorter mag, can you get all four fingers? Or Yeah, so you can yeah. get all three fingers on that grip with the shorter mag. That's pretty good. See, I have to throw my pinky off the bottom for me. Uh -huh. So so what would you say? Like which one I like better? Yeah, which one do you like better? I definitely like the M&P better. Why is that? Um, for one, I can get a full grip on it. Yep. And I feel like I'm in more control with it. Okay. Um, and the recoils is not nearly as bad as on the LCP. Yeah. LCP, it's super snappy. It's brutal, huh? Every time I shoot it, it like hurts my fingertip. Right. And yeah. I can't get a full, I can't quite get a full grip on it. Well, and the, uh, the M&P is what, uh, I can't remember what the weight is exactly on it. The LCP is super, super light. Yeah. Like, they're both, I mean... You're shooting a more powerful cartridge with the M&P 9 than you are with a 380, but the weight difference, I think, I'm gonna have to do some math. I'll post it on the uh, on the screen, guys. Some math on the uh, on the actual ratio to uh, power 
and just do some you know interpolation see if I can come up with with some numbers for you but I'll tell you what the M&P is one heck of a smooth and comfortable gun wouldn't you say yep yeah I like it yeah super super easy to shoot and uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't have any res any reservations recommending uh, the M and P to a fairly novice shooter, would you? No. I wouldn't either. Because I think it's a, I think it's a really, really decent gun. It's freaking good looking too, eh? Mhm. Mm it's really nice looking. So, the LCP is a good, I mean, deep concealed gun. I mean, no doubt, like that LCP is just really a phenomenal, phenomenal gun. But. Uh, that M&P, though, is, I think, a total winner, man. Total winner. The only downsides is the... Uh, I want to say that the that the mag release can be switched around on it, but I'm not sure. But the the all the controls are not ambidextrous, so you're... Like, it looks like, you know, you yeah, can it might, move it, that. Yeah, it might be. But, yeah, so your lefties are kind of uh, left out a little bit with that one. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. There it is, guys. That's a, a little recoil comparison between the M&P 9 and the LCP. Uh, kind of apples and oranges a little bit, but uh, definitely both uh, subcompacts and something that are some go-to concealed carry guns. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. You ran away. You got him? For real? For real?